everybody, Elisa here with Rosie and <laughs> another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Uh, today I, I thought I would do um, sort of a, a mini haul uh, video <laughs> because there was sort of an incident today. Um, I, th I, I, well, I took my bag of the day, which is the Vera, my custom Vera tote in Big Cats. I could have sworn this was, I've been calling this Big Cat's Meow, um, and I could have sworn that's what it was called when it initial, this fabric was called when it was initially loaded up on the website as an option, but I see that it's just Big Cat's. I don't know if that's a change or whether that's just a big brain fart on my part, but, <laughs> ooh, I made it rhyme. <laughs> um, but anyway, this was my bag of the day, and I hauled it to uh, the Vera Bradley store because I wanted to make a return. And I figured, oh, if I make it now, maybe I'll get the credit on my next credit card statement. But then, uh, well, I have a couple of Vera rules. And probably the foremost Vera rule that I follow, I seem to follow, <laughs> despite my best attempts, is that when I go to make a return, I will inevitably spend all of my return money in the store before I make it out. So, and that's exactly what happened today. But it's sort of a, a slight combo haul because something else came in the mail. So the first thing that came in the mail um, was this, I guess I would call this a novelty tote. Um, I assume this is, what was this, Cozy Plaid Neutral? Yes, it's just called Cozy Plaid Neutral. And everyone knows this was came out around the holidays when Merry Mischief came out. And this was that you know, the big deer tote. I call it the deer tote. And, you know, uh, one of my other Vera rules, which I tend to stick to pretty religiously, apparently, <laughs> is that something if something is like a novelty item with embroidery, odds are I'm going to want it. Um, the exception of that latest uh, microfiber tote that came out with the happy plaid. I don't know, what what's that plaid that's out now? Is it tropical plaid or something? Uh, I, I don't like that plaid. Um, I think it looks quite dated, actually. And they've done a tote with appliques of that fabric and flowers and embroidery on like a blue kind of microfiber. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but in general, so there, there are some exceptions with the embroidered things. But it, in general, if something's got embroidered critters or, or, you know, other embroidered designs, or I'm, I'm gonna be. A, it's, it's going to be like a shiny object for me. <laughs> and so this is kind of like that for me. I was drawn to it, but at the same time, when, when it initially came out, I was drawn to it. And I do use Vera Totes a lot. Um, thank you, Warthog Princess, for helping me justify that. <laughs> but I told her I was debating getting this after what I was watching her video because I was debating getting this. Uh, and... Uh, I told her about that, and she said, in perfect uh, Vera enabler form, she said, well, you do use a lot of totes. If you use a lot of Vera totes, <laughs> she knows I use Vera totes a lot. Um, thank you. <laughs> anyway, the, when I saw it in the store, my Hallmark store initially, uh, I thought, God, that looks like they just slapped a piece of industrial carpeting on the side of a bag. Like, this looked like office carpeting to me. And I still feel that way. But this looks like they slapped some office carpeting down on the side of a bag. <laughs> However, it is very soft. It does have a very soft feel. And I do like the sort of embroidery texture that they've got going on in the scarf. Um, almost looks like knitting and I'm, a, I'm an obsessive knitter so that kind of appeals to me. I don't know if the texture will show up uh, here in my light. You can sort of see it a little bit there. It's got some texture to it. Um, anyway, but it just, you know, it just, I couldn't get out of my mind. And so, oh, I saw they had it on Amazon. Um, and my friend Janet told me about this. I don't, she don't, I don't think she watches my videos, but thank you, Janet, for telling me this. This was a while ago. Janet told me that if you put something in your cart in Amazon and you just let it sit there 
for a, wh- for a while, the price fluctuates. And so sometimes it really drops. And so I put this in my cart. Now, that never would happen for me. After she told me that, I tried it with all sorts of things. Never really happened. You know, things went up and down a couple of cents. Um, I put this in and I just sat with it there for a long time. And eventually it went down. I think it went down. I paid for this. I think it went down to like 79 or something. Um, and when it when it did that, it kept it was in increments. It didn't just go from... It's 140 retail normally. It didn't just go from 140 to 79 or whatever it was. It it went down in stages. Like it went down to, I think maybe like 130 or, and it went down to like 119. It kept it kept going down little bits. And I I invite. <laughs> anyway, and it qualified for free shipping, so that was good. So anyway, I'm I'm pleased with it. It's got this you know these embroidered floral details on the ground sort of ground the deer. I just love deer. I have a hard time resisting deer. And so, uh, you know, just couldn't get the tote out of my mind. And then again, like I said, Warthog Princess, her, she had posted some photos um, and had commented when she first got this bag that it was much softer than she was expecting. And that kind of sold me on it too. Because I do, you know, from all the Vera totes I I have, they do have a bit of structure. And this one does feel softer, sort of more like it's gonna maybe not hold its shape so stiffly when it's being carried and that appealed to me so I did get that I see if I can stand back I don't know I've got my camera set up sort of precariously I don't know if I can how far back I can get uh, without moving it <laughs> um, where am I there I am <laughs> So, you know, it's 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 a lot for me. It's, I usually am not carrying a big novelty kind of, ha- you know, I, item with this big of a an element, a visual element, a graphic element on it. So it, it's a stretch for me. Um, and, and I am a little bummed at the, you know, the side seam, where the side seam is, they haven't aligned the, the horizontal elements of the plaid more. But that's tough. I mean, that, that would be something that would need to be done by hand. And they're not hand making these bags. So, um, you know, I knew, I knew that was going to happen. But I was kind of bummed about that. Because when you're holding the bag like this, and it's filled up, so it's got some, you know, width to it this way, this is the part of the bag that people see when you're facing them. So I was kind of bummed about that. But, you know, for 79 bucks, <laughs> I'll take it. It's nice. It's got that hidden slip pocket, but it's got a covered magnet closure, which is nice. A little bit of luxury. <laughs> and the pockets inside are edged with a plaid fabric rather than just being, you know, the end of the lining fabric as you get in a regular Vera tote. I don't, so um, the regular pattern ones. So I was pleased with this. Uh, I, like, I, I was worried after I hit purchase, hit the button, <laughs> the point of no return. And I thought, am I going to end up having to go through the rigmarole of returning this? Because uh, it's just, I, I'm going to get it home and I'm going to feel like it's too much. But it doesn't feel like too much. I mean, it, it is too much, but uh, I like it. So I, I'm keeping it and uh, it's a good price. And I, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm glad I got it. But inside here is my incident from the store. So, okay, so I go to return uh, the Vera tote, and I wish I did. That was fine. They're always great about it. Oh, and, and so, and I was going there, you know, a lot of the times when I make a return, I go to my outlet store. I have an outlet store. I'm lucky. I have an outlet store and a signature store, and not too long of a drive, but the signature store is a little bit closer. Because usually I go to the factory outlet store for my returns. I don't know why. It's a nice drive. <laughs> um, and so this time I decided to go to the signature store, which is closer, but also because I was looking for this in particular, um, which is the Hummingbird Park uh, eye, eyeglass. What do they call this thing? They don't. Oh. Lens cloth, lens cloth, you know, for cleaning your eyeglasses. And I actually do could use some of these. Um, and it has a hummingbird on it. Where's 
the hummingbird. So I go in there and I, and all innocent with my bag to return. I, I get up to the counter. Uh, the, the, the woman who's helped me before, this was the same woman. I think her name is Elise. Um, very similar name to me. <laughs> That's why I remember. And she's the one who helped me with my Bordeaux Blooms 100 and getting good dragonflies on that thing. I go up to the counter and she's starting to help me out. Everything's pleasant. And I look over and all scattered all over the checkout counter, but behind it, you know, where I, I can't just out of reach, <laughs> were all these Hummingbird Park items. I was like, oh my God, they do exist. <laughs> So I just thought I would report what I saw. She wouldn't let me touch any of them, and they were all in plastic still. They weren't really putting them out yet. I think they had just gotten a box of stuff in, and they may have just been putting them up on the counter. But I, I, I just stood there, like, you know, with my mouth open, which she couldn't see because I had my mask on. <laughs> um, there is a, she said, I asked if there was a large Vera, and she said she assumes there is, but she doesn't know for sure. Um, cause I had seen the small Vera in a picture in a Hallmark catalog before the release got canceled. So I knew that, I know there's a small Vera and sure enough, it was there. There's a small Vera there in plastic, but I can report that the trim on the small Vera has hummingbirds in it. So that just made me so ecstatic that, you know, and she's, she was, because my, you know, I'm picturing it's going to be hard to find hummingbirds. Um, on things in good places and she was saying she's been seeing a lot of hummingbirds on the things that she's been pulling out of the box or whatever so far so she's encouraged that it might not be too difficult but you know you never know with that beer tote because you want you, know, you kind of want them on the front um, but anyway they're in the trim too hummingbirds are in the trim on the Vera um, small Vera I don't know if a large Vera exists um, there was an on-the-go crossbody. There were a bunch of those those little things. I don't. I, it's not a bag I get, so I'm not sure the name. But they're sort of a about this big, vertic, more vertically oriented, uh, north-south oriented, small kind of crossbody. I don't know if it's a, like a mini hipster or something. There was something like that, and there were eye those puffy soft eyeglass cases. Um, and of course, the sunglass. Everyone knows there's the reader's case and the sunglasses case. Um, those were already out. They had a ton that one of the travel mugs out. I mean, that's on the website already. So the things that are on the website already, they had out. Um, then there's also they had the um, the re some of the reactive stuff, which is the hummingbird blooms. So it's like my quilt here, and it's like the um, I'm sorry, pumpkin. Um, it's there's like a casserole carrier thing on the website now in this pattern, and that, that's also going to be in the reactive line. So it looks like this, only a little bit smaller, and pink, not yellow, pink with gray, and there are birds in it. I don't know if I got any birds in this section of fabric. You would think, yeah, I did. So big, you would think, I, but... I think there are two, you know, this, this one has its wings sort of up and there's another one uh, somewhere in the pattern. Oh, no, that's the same one. I don't think I got any of the other. Oh, here it is right here in the middle. The, another one there. So there's a reactive tote that I had done. I mentioned in a video, one of my videos a while back that um, I had seen one. One slipped out early somewhere. From, um, and it was on eBay and it wasn't a bad price and I was looking at it considering buying it and I hesitated because the hummingbird in that was on the back and I thought maybe I, if that's really a thing if it's really going to be released at some point I would try to get it with a hummingbird on the front so there is a reactive tote it looked like there was some other small reactive thing I don't know what it was again it was all kind of in a pile on the shelf behind the checkout desk you know so um, and <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't let me touch anything. I don't know if she trusted me <laughs> to give it back to her. Anyway, I said to her, well, you'll be seeing me. I, said, I was joking around. I said, what time do you open? I said, you'll be seeing me on, re on the day's release. I'll be, I'll be with my hands up against the glass door. <laughs> Say, let me in. <laughs> I walked out. The manager was like, okay, see you. <laughs> see you in April. 
anyway, so I, you know, I, I just couldn't believe, I think there was part of me that just felt like this pattern was not really ever going to come out for real in bags. Um, but she was saying it's because of COVID, because it was supposed to be a spring pattern, and then COVID happened, and they, so they just, you know, stopped it from releasing. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm really hoping there's a large Vera, the regular size Vera, because I'm not a small Vera person, but there isn't. I will break down and get the small Vera, because i got to have that trim. Anyway, I bought two of these uh, lens cloths for my readers. And I thought, you know, well, that's what I was going there for. Make the return, and I'll get a couple of these lens cloths if they have them, and I'm good to go, and I get most of my money back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look over at the little display pedestal to the side of the checkout counter, and I see this sitting there, and she sees me eyeballing it. And she says, yeah, that's our last one. So I didn't have any more of the patchwork ones. I thought, well, let me just look if there's a patchwork one, see if there's one with a section of that other fabric, like my lanyard that has a bird on it. <clears throat> they didn't have any more, but I, this was the last one and I liked the, it had a monkey on it. And not only did it have a monkey on the front, but it had, I, I love this leaf with this monkey on the back. And I have another one of these with this on the back, but I just thought, oh, now I'll have one with two monkeys instead of one monkey. <laughs> but I mean, my, my driving force with getting this is always, well, 75% of the price is going to go to New Hope Girls right now and uh, it's just it's a no-brainer for me um, I do have a mini hobo coming for that same reason uh, I just felt like let me give that I couldn't make that the regular size hobo with that strap and the knot big knot work for me but I'm hoping maybe with the mini one that that strip of fabric that forms the strap is a little bit less cumbersome and maybe I can make it work because I do love this fabric and again that's I feel like it's you know hey for an organization that's you know fighting sex trafficking and you know um, human slavery and uh, you know uh, mistreatment of women uh, in general abuse uh, of women in general I feel like you know yeah I could just I could throw some more money at you so uh, I did get that this is the zip pouch new hope girls zip pouch Sure, I didn't say New Hope Girls. I should have the stuffing in there so it looks real nice. Um, I got another turn lock because I can't resist critters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's probably sick and tired of hearing me say that. But French paisley with the bird, the pink bird with its wings open, just seemed like, you know, hard to, hard to say no to that. So I did get that. And it has a bird on the back. Doesn't have that little blue bird that's my favorite bird, but it does have a yellow bird there. And I do love the turn lock. I, mean, I just love the turn lock wallet. Uh, and like I said, you know, it's it's my return money, so it's like it's free. <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh then uh oh and I did get a look at the uh, performance twill it's a new style the performance twill cinch shoulder bag I think is what it is and I put it on and took a couple of pictures in the mirror uh, and I'll post some on my Instagram in case people are interested to see what that bag looks like on very similar to the Glenna um, and the performance twill Glenna but uh, revamped I mean it, it definitely has a I think it has a, a more streamlined look I liked it uh, I didn't look as small as I thought it you know, would have looked on me. From the pictures on the website, I, I kind of discounted it. I, I was saying I'm not going to even consider this because it looks like it's going to be too small on my body, but it looked very pretty. Um, but I did wander by this, uh, what is this, the Travel Pill Case, uh, Seawater Blooms. Just loving this pattern right now. And I, I just could not, I mean, walk away from those two leaves right there on the top. And they had a lot of stuff in the store, seawater blooms that just had beautiful pattern placement. It was hard not to really go crazy in there. And you know, I, I, I use these for various things, uh, earphones and also vitamins, but I never, I never use this. I can't stand these things. I always take them out. Uh, and the, 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 item has a, the case has enough structure on its own for me that I don't need the that 
plastic insert. It holds its shape. You know, I'm stuffing it in my bag. But it's got that lining. You can see the lining so nicely here. Very pretty. Really pretty. And again, that pink. And this is nice, good light right here because you can see that shadow sort of detail in the background. It's almost, it reminds me of when you do like, um, you hand paint on silk and you use resist to block out areas that you don't want certain color dyes um, to take to in the, in the design and you use like wax resist or whatever. And, and this is kind of what that reminds me of. It sort of has that look of when you use a wax resist kind of technique when you're hand painting fabric, especially silk. Very, very happy with this pattern. Really, I mean, that's why it was my, it's, a, it's my top spring pattern out of the 15. <laughs> the 10 that are really 15. So that was it. Oh no, one more thing. Did I forget? Because I am a Kisslock person, and I, I have seen these on the website and they sold out. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I've been, I, I, I use these in my house and when I travel to put my rings into when I need to. And, um, you know, I was feeling like, well, I, I, I have so many of them and I'm just going to throw one in my bag and carry it in case sometime I'm out and I need to take my rings off for some reason. I want to take my rings off and I want something to contain them in. But I don't feel comfortable with the Vera Tote. There's no internal zip pocket in the Vera Tote. I know there's an external one, but I wanted it. I don't. I wanted an internal zipper pocket to put something valuable in um, in an emergency. And the Vera Tote does not have that. And so um, when I saw this in the store, I don't think I, I don't know if I realized online that this came with a, this ring with that, you know, spring mechanism, a spring opening. Um, and so that means I can hook it onto something, whether it's the strap of a bag or if I want it deeper in the bag, can, you know, jerry rig something with a lanyard. Um, but I, 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 so I'm, I, that's why I bought this, so that maybe I can attach this somehow to my bag uh, so it's got security. And if I, in an emergency, need to take my rings off for some reason. Uh, th that might happen mostly when I'm dealing with my dogs. Um, I, I can't tell you how many stones, how many emeralds, not this emerald, thank God. Uh, not this, that, that's my tan tonight, but not my engagement ring emerald. But I have a wedding band that matches this ring. That's just an, a, an eternity band with emeralds all around, small emeralds. And I cannot tell you how many times I have popped an emerald out of that thing, usually after dealing with my dogs, being all excited to go out on a walk. And it must have been, you know, they knocked it out or it bumped, you know, my ring bumped up against a leash or whatever in the, in the excitement of getting the leashes and the harnesses on and stuff. And I... <laughs> So I would go back to the jeweler in New York City whenever I visit my dad. I would go back to the jeweler in New York City who, who made the ring for me and get him to replace the emerald for me. And it was getting to the point where, you know, I'd open the door and he'd see me coming and be like, what did you do now? <laughs> That's how many times I've been in there to see that lovely man. Um, anyway, so... You know, this sort of saves me from that kind of a situation um, where if some, I, I feel like I'm going to be doing something and I don't want to, I don't want to be wearing rings. I'll have somewhere to put them. And this is, you know, I think this is part of the Sweethearts pattern. You know, that release. Um, did it say Sweethearts? Oh, of course, I can't read it. I cannot read this. It's so tiny. Mini. Oh, excuse me, I need my glasses because I'm old. Still can't even read it. Mini Kisslock Bag Charm, Sweethearts. Mini Kisslock Bag bag Charm in Sweethearts. And what I like about this, oops, really stuffed. They had two in the store. Um, with the, it's lined in the, in a pad, you know, in the lining fabric. Because I have other ones, uh, what's the, 
I have the Stitch Flowers one here. Hold on a sec. This is, oh, sorry. This is the one that I use by my bed to keep rings in, and one of my bands is in there right now. And it's just that red line, solid lining. Yeah, that, I was bummed about that with this one because I love the hearts lining that goes in this, that's on the Stitch Flowers pattern. Um, so anyway, I was pleased when I opened it up and I saw that lining. Ooh, <laughs> that was a nice surprise. And so it's got these embroidered uh, hearts on there. And uh, one is like a very pale, I don't know, it's hard to see in this light, whether it's white or pale pink. Um, but it's looking white there, but I have to hold it in daylight to be 100% sure what that is. Anyway, so I was pleased with that. And I know I, it's got a, it's not just a throwaway purchase. I mean, it, I may use this. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I wasn't sure it was closing. So anyway, that was it. My, my really un unintended uh, little, little haul from, you know, going to return something. <sighs> Best laid plans. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I feel like I might have another little haul video, maybe um, when when the online outlet stuff comes or something. I'm not I'm not sure, but um, there's always more. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.